Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Primitive Gatherings. Today is Thursday and we are here live with two people, Dab and Mary, all the way from New York. Woo! So why did you come here from New York? To see Primitive Gatherings. Uh, oh, yeah, we are yeah. so excited. Yeah, we and, are so excited. and Deb told me this really heartfelt story about her mom, which so awesome. So thank you for sharing that with me. That oh, was, that I was kind amazing. I wanted to yeah. say this to you for a long time. Yeah. The, so it's about her. She, she lost her mom and um, she died. She died peacefully doing what she loved. Right. With Lisa's primitive gatherings, um, pennies, wool pennies. She was doing wool pennies yeah. on the couch that she did every night watching television and just went peacefully. How old was she? 86. 86. That's a good life, right? If I make it to 86, <laughs> that's yes. a good life. That's a good life. But she loved everything primitive gatherings. And and now you get to make something out of what yes. she did, I right? A lot of pennies. Oh my God. I can't imagine now. just having that, you know, like your mom did those and yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's amazing. Yeah. So, and yeah. she had started your red work gatherings, the panel. Mm. She had started working on okay. that, so I get to finish that too. All right. So, what are your plans while you're here? Oh, lots of shopping. Okay. Um, we hope to tour the gathering. All right. Yep. And check it out. Well, we thought we could, when we get in the store, we would probably, you know, go around and look and, you know, go over the gathering. We haven't been out of the store yet, and I think we've been in for two hours. <laughs> and we haven't seen everything, and we're just... No, I'm not rushing you or anything, but I'm like, hey, come on and so, say hi to everybody. <laughs> we <You're> decided, like, <laughs> I'm like, we yeah. decided it's going to be like three days anyway yeah, to, to continue to go in. So here. you drove, or did you fly? We drove. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So then you can bring all the stuff home. Right? That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Well, I uh, will personally give you a tour of the gathering after this. If you uh, are still, I'll go find, I'll go down and see if you're in the store. Oh, thank and you. And if uh, you're down there after I do the comment sold, then I'll gather you up and go give you a little tour of it. Thank you. Okay? I like that. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank well, you thanks so for coming much. on and saying hi and all the way from what part of New York? Upstate New York near Albany. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. So your weather's probably just like ours. Just the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. Awesome. Thank so well, much. thank you for coming here. I appreciate it. And we'll we'll talk later. Yes, okay. we will. Thank awesome. you so much. Yes. All right. You get to go now. Okay. 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 You're free. <laughs> thank you. All right. All right. Get my little pillow back up here now. Okay. Wasn't that fun? I'm like, oh, you got to come and say hi to everybody. And uh, Kaylee's going to pop on my comments here. So as you know, while everybody's jumping on, say hi, do all the things. I'll go over some little uh, messages and stuff before we get started. My grandpa died fishing. Yes. That's what we all want. We want to go doing what we love, right? Being happy and doing all the things that we love. All right. I'm going to go through a couple messages here quick. So we have rug hooking on April 23rd. I don't know if Kaylee's going to pop these up for you. So if you're local or if you're not local, you can still plan, right? If you're going to come from New York or wherever you're coming from to hang out with us. We just love it when people come from a long ways away. May 2nd is sit and stitch. We just had one yesterday. Super fun. We love them. Uh, all the ladies got an Easter egg when they checked out and they got little Easter presents. And then May 3rd is kids camp. There we go. May 15th is featherweight. I brought my featherweight in the other day. They had featherweight club. What did I say it was? May 15th. Um, mine is pearl white. And I, I, um, I had like six featherweights and I thought, I don't need six featherweights. I need to share these. So I let them go to loving homes. Yes, they bought them. I didn't just give them, I'm not that nice. But anyway, so I get I uh, let them go for sale so they could be used because obviously I cannot stitch on six machines, right? So I kept the one that was pearlized white and it's beautiful. So come with your featherweight and hang out with us. May 23rd, Cross Stitch Club. Our cross stitch section is getting bigger and bigger. I just seen all the patterns downstairs. I'm not calling them charts. I was told I can call them patterns all I want. 
<laughs> Wool Club, May 24th. If you need any help at all, this is a good one to come to or sit and stitch where we're there all day long to help you with anything that you need help with. All right. So we may have a few more day spots open. I think our lodging is full for Teresa Colgert. If you want to put this one up. So Teresa Colgert is a famous cross stitcher and fabric designer. We have her fabric here in the shop as well. She does really cool folk art designs and you can see all of her stuff. You want to come and hang out with her. She's going to be super cool. And all this information, class fee includes three days of instructions, exclusive cross-stitch designed pattern for you, uh, project kits in wool applique, needle punch, and cross-stitch. I don't know what all that means, but okay. Uh, how to finish projects, trunk show, shopping, facility tour, and all that primitive gathering swag that you get when you stay with us. Okay, so if you want to hang out with Teresa Coger and a whole bunch of other crazy cross-stitch ladies, July 13th through the 15th is coming up or September 28th through the 30th. And then before that, June 8th through the 9th, we have Lori from La Di Da. And she's, again, very talented cross-stitcher. We all know that cross-stitch is not going away. It's here to stay and it's so crazy. All these cross-stitch ladies, I see a, a ton of it. They do, they do a little wool, they do a little cross-stitch, do a little sewing. They don't they're just happy doing whatever. All right, Miss Heidi, come over here. Let's quick show them what we got going on here. Ooh. Heidi's been working really hard for you all. So we have this get the, the Primitive Gatherings calendar. So everything that goes on at Primitive Gatherings is in this little printable here. And Hides has done uh, a little thing on the website for you, on the blog. Are you going to be able to zoom in? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll hold those. Okay, I'm on it. All right. So, oops. You should all know what the blog looks like and be very familiar with it. Yes, please go there and hang out. Yes. Okay, so at the top, you're going to see this menu. It's a main menu. Right here is the 2023 schedule for the Primitive Gatherings and the Gathering. You can click that. Or, to make it even easier... If you scroll down, and this is on any blog post in the future, there's a button right here on the side. All you have to do is click it. Please let it work. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll take you to this page. Click here, and it'll have the most recent revised version of that schedule right there. And you can click on it to look at it or to print from it. All right. And just an FYI, if you're on a different device other than a computer, it may be down at the bottom because sometimes it doesn't have a side on your phone or your iPad. It's yeah. it'll be down near the end. But look for that icon that Heidi created for it's all. Of, it's a looks as a picture of the, the gathering and everything that's going on here. And it's got blue. Yep. 2023 events, it says. So look for that. If you're on a computer, it'll be on the side. If it's on a phone or an iPad, it might be near the bottom of the post. Or just go to lisabongine.com and just scroll down to the bottom until you find that. Mm -hmm. So that way you'll know anything that's happening here. Okay. So if you're coming from New York, these girls could have saw what they could have what they could have hung out and done with us, right? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. And every time Gloria makes a change, you can print yourself a new copy. So get a whole ring. Get a whole ring. <laughs> yeah, there's always lots of stuff going on. So that's what this is here. This is the printable whole year calendar all the way through to the end. And of course, like what she's saying is we have the main stuff in, but we'll always be adding little things that are going on in there. So we, we're so ex super excited about being able to get that information out to you guys as fast as possible. All right. So anybody have any comments or questions to start before we get into all the stuff I've been working on or what? What's going on here at the shop? Anything? What shoes are you wearing today? Oh, I don't want to show you. Because of your socks? Because of my socks. It's cold. <laughs> oh, see, they met. So this, these shoes I bought on a suggestion from Tina Bauer from Bittersweet Quilt Shop in Pinconning, Michigan. They're all wool. Look at, they have like the, the pad in there that's on our on our uh, ironing boards. Hang on. See, look, it's the same thing. It's that same pad. So they're all wool. 
and they're really nice and comfy. But I have these ugly socks on. <laughs> So I didn't want to show you because my feet get cold if I'm like over at the gathering. So uh, I can't, I have to wear socks for a little bit yet till it warms up and it's raining right now. It's yucky here. So all that kind of stuff, but let's talk a little bit about um, some of the things I got going. It was my 25th wedding anniversary on Tuesday. So now we can celebrate because we made it. Remember I said, I'm not even talking about it until we make it because there's always a chance, right? But we had a lot of fun. We just went to the little local supper club. We had a little uh, candlelight dinner with our friends and had a cake and shared it with the whole, whole place. And I had balloons and flowers and I got this cool little necklace. It's a compass. So my husband says, so I always know my way back home to him. I'm like, oh, sure. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? It's got diamonds in it. He did good. And then he read my card that he wrote to me to the whole bar. <laughs> He's, a, he's, he's pretty mushy. I'm not really mushy, but he is. <laughs> but he did a good job. So there's a chance we might might make it a, a little bit longer. Maybe 25 more. Who knows? Right? <laughs> Can you put some comments on? I want to see what they say about that. And we decided instead of going on some big fabulous cruise or something like that, we're going to do 25 little excursions this year. So we're going to start making a list and document them. Nick has good taste. Yeah, he picked me. <laughs> they want to know what you got, Nick. Uh, nothing. Oh. <laughs> nothing. You got him a quilt shop. I paid off his Cabela's credit card. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk about Cabela's, right? Okay, let's just let's just talk about this since you asked, right? So you know, oh honey, I just need to get a couple things for fishing this this spring. I'm like, okay, okay. All of a sudden, I get the car bill. I'm like. Ten thousand dollars. Well, yeah, that was my mega live, and I'm like, what? What? What is it? Well, it's a screen where you can see like 3D around your whole boat. I'm thinking, just for one little screen, you know, just one part of it, not the boat. You didn't buy a boat for ten grand, did you? <laughs> and not tell me about it. But no, just one little screen. So we feel guilty that our sewing machine costs a thousand dollars or two thousand or whatever, and they get one little screen. And then probably some lures or fishing poles or whatever, you know, because he breaks some of them. He ca we catch a lot of sturgeon off our dock and it, sometimes they break, breaks his poles or stuff like that. So I, I actually did take his credit card away from until it was paid off. But <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't yell or anything. I just said, okay, so it's not fishing anymore. It's catching because you can see that the fish are there. So you're not fishing. You're not wondering if they're there. You're catching now. So, but he's like, oh, but yeah, but I put fish on the table. I'm like, mm, $10,000 $10, can buy lots of fish lunches, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's out of my hair doing what he loves and I'm doing what I love. And that's, that's what makes a perfect marriage, right? <laughs> right, everyone? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I know I, I have to harass him about that because Nick is, Nick really never spends that much money. So when I saw that, Bill was like, <laughs> Holy crap, how much was this? Do you have the comments on? But yeah. We're good. Which one? He could have worse hobbies. Holy balls, move on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, honey, yes, honey. You should have came on with me today. <laughs> we could like, you know. And all right, so then last night I went line dancing, right? The girls are like, hey, there's there's line dancing on Wednesday nights, blah, blah, blah. You want to go? I'm like, yes. I'm like, Nick, you going to come with us? He's like, no, I ain't going line dancing. I'm like, after I went, there was, it was so much fun. There was like, the place was packed. There's like, I don't know, how many people? All, all people, all young, old, shape, sizes, men, women. It was such a blast. So guess what? It's going to be one of our 25 things. <laughs> and he's, because Nick is a good dancer. He really is. He might, he might you know, not function well the next day or be able to walk, but hopefully we'll get him in dancing shape soon. I, I, I'm waiting for him to come in here. Anyway. Just he's saying, commenting right now. Yeah, he's commenting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
25 different yeah so if you have any like nice things to do 25 different things i don't want to go anywhere far you know like a motorcycle ride car ride whatever you know minnesota illinois michigan that type if you got some place cool we need to go let us know you know the apostle islands mackinac that kind of stuff right you don't need to go on a big cruise okay are we ready to start talking about stuff that really matters that you're really interested in? When I got my long arm, I compared it to the idea that if a man wanted, man would, so my boat lives in my sewing room. <laughs> my husband said he was totally supportive of me getting it too. Right? It's the way it should work. Okay. Let's talk about some things here. And I have some girls here from the retreat house. You want to come say hi? You come say hi, Chick? Come say hi. Come say hi. The reason I am coming to say hi is because this is Terry from hi. Wasa. 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 Yep. Is because I just talked to Nick before I came up here and I said, Oh, that necklace that you bought, Lisa, for your anniversary was beautiful. And he said, I sure hope she doesn't bring that up on the live. <laughs> so why? He's he's know. like, I'm so happy you didn't put anything on social media about our 25th wedding anniversary. I'm like, okay. So because really, I've been not been posting anything. Been. I didn't even know it was until after yeah. you left. Yeah. But, but anyways, hi, I'm Terry Hillman, and I just love coming here. Been coming here since you opened. Was here for your ground digging, and um, it's just great. And the ladies from New York, if you're, I've been here for four days, and I've been in the shop for five times, and fine. <laughs> so you'll look at, you'll think of something, and then you'll go buy it. But anyway, so I. Really not getting anything done. I have uh, Kim Deal. Oh, nothing done. Look how projects. And then for the next one, I have like little ones done, but I like They're really so seriously. All you do is just have so much fun. Yes. So, so much fun. And I want to point out that Terry makes a lot of samples for our books and stuff. She does. She helps us out. So I don't have to be making all of them anymore. It's so nice to have help. Yeah, it's a great. So now I can have me. a life and go line dancing. <laughs> And I can't wait to see Nick do it. Yeah, right? So, but anyways, thank you. Yes. All right. Anybody else want to come on and say hi? No? Chicken. Mark, 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 mark. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us this week, girls. It was so fun. And we love that you come and support us all here and do all the fun things. All right. So I have some things I'm working on. I'm going to talk about those. But let's get rid of all this other stuff. Jess has done a little bit of a a show here about uh, all things scrappy, right? Is it scrappy day? It's scrappy day on common sold. Oh, scrappy day on common sold. This is just stuff that just got done or I'm working on. New and ongoing. Yeah, ongoing. Sorry. I get the two <laughs> mixed up sometimes. Okay. So let's talk about a couple of these things that just got done. All right. Let's talk first about the Somerset quilt. This is uh, the kit right here, comes with this fat eighth tower and two other big fabrics. Here it is behind me, isn't it beautiful? We only have a minimal amount of these kits, only 10 available. So we just got it done and that's all how many we can make. So the pattern is $10, a big nice chubby pattern here. The kitten pattern is 95 together. And we also have backing available for 20% off when you purchase that. Okay. So that is all on the website under Live with Lisa and New or just one place? Both places. Both places. Okay. All right. So I'm going to skip the next one because it's on the bottom. All right. Friends gather here. All right. This one right here. So this pillow, let's talk about this. This pillow you could only get when you stayed at the gathering. And we gave it to everybody who stayed there with one of our packages, a three night or a six night. They got this pattern. And the only way you could get it is if you stay there. So we gave them all to them free. And then we had kits available if they wanted a kit or if they wanted to make their own thing. So this is the only way you could have gotten this one. But now... We have a new pillow for the gathering because it's been over a year and the same people are coming back and they want something cool. So we made them Miss Gertie. Miss Gertie's gathering pillow. So this is the new pillow 
pattern that they're going to get when they come and stay at the gathering. Hopefully we'll have them ready by next week. I'm just finishing proofing the pattern. I know Katie just, Kaylee just shot it today. But isn't she cute? Amongst other things that you get when you come and stay at the gathering. All right. This is not on my thing here, so I'm waiting for this. Uh, da, da, da. All right. Let's go to this one. Want to help me? Want some help? Yeah. So this is called Tis the Season Christmas Panel. So this is a Christmas panel that we have. It is so awesome. They got it all yeah. quilted. And it is $49 for the panel. Now, we only have so many of these on order, and Moda has no more. They are sold out. So whatever we have is what they got. Now, $49, and if you want it quilted, you can buy it for $199, and it'll come with a backing, binding. You got to put the binding on, though. So we'll send it back to you quilted, and you just have to put the binding on. We won't even ship you the panel. We'll quilt the panel here for you and ship it back to you already quilted for $1.99. Isn't that awesome? All right, let's just keep going here. Let's just keep rolling, Miss Terry. All right. All right, now this one may seem familiar to some of you because it's a redo. This oh, one this is upside down. Yep. All right, this is Home for the Holidays. But I'm looking for it on Jess's slip. Did you write this one on, Jess? Yeah, I think it's on the second page. Oh, over to the side. Okay. Home for the holidays. Now, this is a kit and pattern in a box coming from Moda. So Moda has kitted this for us with our wools and everything. It is $300. So if you really like this lighter and brighter version of it, which I think is fantastic, we updated a little bit of the colors on some of it, but it's just one of my favorite quilts for Christmas. And like I said, it's brand new and Moda has put it in one of their famous box kits. You know, it'll be all beautiful box decorated. All right. Next up, we have Jess has finished the Simply Swoon Modern. All right, so I don't think this has a front or uh, upside down. Oh, it's nice and soft. Oh, yeah, she's washed it. <clears throat> it's an art gallery fabric. Oh, that's pretty. It's beautiful. And let me tell you some more about it. This one Bonnie from Winnicotti would do. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is her, her style, right? Super oh. easy. Quilt the day. Yes, you can make this in one day. Kitten pattern, 145. Backing is also available at 20% off when you purchase. Did you have a, a backing already picked out for them, Jess? It'll be something that's in the quilt. Okay, something that's in the quilt, she said. And then we also have patterns for $10 only. So maybe you just want this pattern. But isn't it great? Simply Swoon is what that one is called on our website. All right. What else we got to get rid of? The Wisconsin Shop Hop is coming up in June, and we have that you can pre order your fabric packs. So we have half yard pieces of all 14, and the, the panels are in here too as one yards. So if you want half yards of all the fabrics, it's 110. See how cool they are? I know you're not all from Wisconsin, so I know this isn't going to be like the biggest hit of the show. And then we have one yard pieces too. But maybe you know somebody from Wisconsin, or maybe you were from Wisconsin and you miss us and you want to make a Wisconsin quilt. But look what the fun stuff we're doing with it. So Miss Kathy Decker, you know her, she's made us a project bag for it. So she stitched on the panel. So this is one of the panels that's in there. Project. Now look at this because some of us have bigger, bigger projects. Hair bands, you know, these things. All right. Oh, I could just use that for that. So she's, that's how she puts on her own pool noodle. So this is for your project to roll up in. 
I asked her to make some bigger ones because my um, fresh cut garden doesn't fit in my one I have. And I will be showing you that, so stick around. How cool is this? And even though you don't want the Wisconsin, some of you aren't going to want the Wisconsin, you might want this pattern to make yourself this pool noodle project roll. Isn't that great? Okay. She should have a class. Yes. Yes, we can talk her into having a class on some of that stuff. Okay. All right, fabric is gone. Here, will you take these out of the way too so I know what I have to talk about and what I don't have to talk about. Process of elimination. I like it. Okay, let's pop on over to Christmas. We have joyful gatherings that will be coming in. I, I have a hard time keeping this all straight. Um, July? Uh, yeah. yeah, end of June, July. So this fabric line called Joyful Gatherings is coming soon. And we do have a quilt along with it somewhere. I hope I didn't leave it over there. But anyways, um, I'll talk about that in a minute if I don't have it now. But there's also a book of the same name called Joyful Gatherings. And we're going to show you some of the quilts. So there's two quilts over there. You see them? They just got off the long arm. Right there, yep. So we'll bring these two over and we'll talk about, we'll show you some of the quilts that have just come back from the long arm. We gotta save the binding. All right, let's do that one first. All right, let's see what we got. I want you to get excited for this because we have some really cool projects in it. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so. Did you make this one? No. This <laughs> one. Yes. These fabrics are so beautiful. All right. Fold that one back up, please. And then well, this one is like, oh. Is this yours, Jess? Oh, we're showing two new ones that have never been on the show before. This is the one I get. This is the one Terry made. See, I told you she was awesome. Yeah, it was really pretty, fun to make. Beautiful fabrics. Oh, everything is a triangle. Yes, I was getting really good Guess at triangles. My people, they ain't afraid of no triangle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> no. Nope. We're going to get t-shirts that said, I ain't afraid of no triangles. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a big quilt. Yes. It's a baby maker. It's one of those heavy ones. All right. I want this with this because I'll get accused of losing this. Because we have had a back disappear from one of my flannel quilts. It just went, poof, nowhere. Don't even know where it is. Tell me what happened to your quilt this morning. Oh, <laughs> when I get to it, I'll tell them. Okay. <laughs> Was not pretty. All right, so joyful gatherings. Let's stay on track. Pillow. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. <laughs> At Christmas time, especially, right? And this guy. So this 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 is kind of funny. Because I was at hanging out at retreat with some of the girls. And this was like a long banner. And I'm looking at it. I'm like, it's so boring. I just don't. I said, I'm just going to cut it. So I start cutting it. And the girls are like, oh, my God. How did you just do that? And I'm like, I don't know. I just did it because I thought it would be more interesting. And I think we're going to mount it on a board, too. So, oh, look at that. We got a super chat. Yay. <laughs> Kaylee, did you get your new lens yet? Yeah, I did. Oop, she hey, got a new lens. You want to read her question? Can you, can you have too many Christmas quilts? No. <laughs> Never. Because guess what? They can be Christmas quilts, and then they can be uh, anytime quilts, too. Right? I think so. Just because they're red and white, red, white, and green doesn't mean they're only yeah, at Christmas. So many well, how fun was that that I just chopped this up? Right? Now it's not boring. Mm -hmm. Great so those are done. And then cross-stitch. Isn't this cool? Miss Kaylee, Katie Nolan has made this one for us, for our book. It's so beautiful. There, look at that. That's awesome. 
Okay. And while I'm on this, I'll show you a couple other things I'm making. So I'm going to make garland for the book as well. So here's my little garlands. I stitched a couple of them. I was like polling everybody. I'm like, okay, so how far apart should they be? Should they be like that far apart? Should they be that far apart? That far apart? So I have to decide how far apart I want my my garland. And then the chain that runs through them. So I'll fuse these. I'll like probably crochet a chain like six foot or nine foot. I think nine feet. I think I'm going to do nine feet. And then I probably will only have to do two for my tree because it's not that big. Because, you know, you really only have to decorate the front, right? Mm -hmm. You don't go all the way around, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of go like three quarters in the back this way because it's against the wall. But no, I will probably make enough. But I love this idea for garland. And then I didn't realize that I had to do front and back. But there's my start of them. So that's going to go in the book as well. And then I like to have like a bunch of stuff ready for the weekend because you never know how much I'm going to be able to stitch. So this is a little stitchery called Merry Christmas to you. Can Wait a minute here. Let's get the angle right. Joyful gatherings. It's on our website for a pre-order. So here's a little stitchery I have ready. It's, you can tell it's in the shape of an ornament. So it's a little little peek at what's what's coming up. Now, this is the, the only piece of wool I put on it is this little tinsel thing here, or that little. But, yep, so I'm going to get that stitched up. Now, this could be, you know, sometimes you just want to give somebody a little handmade gift, but, you know, maybe they're not quilt worthy yet. <laughs> so maybe they're stitchery worthy. <laughs> okay, so those are the Christmas projects. And then... Um, I'm just going to, don't look at the brown because there's no brown in this quilt, but it's going to kind of give you a good idea of what our, our joyful quilt along is going to look at, but don't look at that brown, okay? No brown is in this quilt, but see how the trees are going to jog? And I, if I'm admitting, I had to redo this whole quilt because it was too big. Uh, so instead of doing 12, this is a 14 inch block, okay? This is 14 inches. This is too big. The quilt was like 98 by 114, all right? We don't need, so I did it a little smaller, so they're going to be 12 inch blocks. And then it's only going to be 84 by 87. I can live with 84 by 87, but not, I don't want 120 or something like that. So I had to redo some math on those. That's why I'm not really too far on those ones. So you want to put that out of the way. But that is coming up. So if you want to join in that, you're going to need a fat quarter tower for sure for the fabrics and then you're going to need the Bella solid and I know I have eight yards in there for the Bella solid but you're not going to need all eight yards but you still might need six of it so we don't know what we're going to do with that yet we we have some time to discuss if we're going to figure out exactly what you need to adjust the people who have already ordered that all right but it's the color porcelain and it matches all of my stuff so that's the color I use. Like I'm going to be making Christmas stockings for the book as well. And the, I'm going to use the porcelain as the main part of the stocking. I'm going to do pieced stockings this time because I've already done wool stockings. I've already done um, uh, like wool applique, um, a lot of wool applique. I've done quilted ones with a little wool applique. The flannel ones, remember that spelled out believe in the Yuletide book. But this one I'm going to do little pieced blocks for my um, stockings and I can't wait for you to see what I'm going to do with those because those are going to be so much fun and I'm super excited about that and I have all my fabrics ready to go for this weekend. I have to get two stockings done for sure. Okay what else I got in here of my ongoing stuff that I carry with me. All right do we have any questions? How come I don't have nothing to drink? <sighs> Can somebody grab me that one right there? All right. South Africa. Yay. Hi, Anne. Love Nordic designs. Okay. I like Nordic designs. Book junkie. I need that book and fabric. I know, right? It's going to be so good. I'll need to order some solids. 
Yes, think little pieced stockings, like little nine patches, little, I think I might do a little tree piece. Okay. What's next? Where's my list? Right here. All right. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I want to pop up and talk about, if you can throw up the icon for the quilt show. So we have a fun quilt show coming up in November. So this is part of our primitive Christmas event. And we rely on our customers and our friends and all of our quilters to provide us with the coolest quilts that they can for our show. And this year's theme is red, white, and green. So look what, what just happened to be coming up, right? So this is the color scheme I want you to work in. Do you have to use my fabrics? No. Do we like it when you do? You bet. But this is the color scheme. So it doesn't have to be white, white. It can be cream. Can it be tan? No. All right. Cream and white, red and green. Any shades of green, any shades of red. That's what we want for our second annual challenge or quilt show or whatever you want to call it. And let me tell you, we have fabulous prizes like big, huge gift cards for primitive gatherings, along with we did a lot of fat quarter towers last year. And I'm talking like $500 gift cards. I mean, I'm not talking like a wimpy $100 one. I'm talking about $500 gift cards. So we, and Moda's going to sponsor our biggest prize this year. And we'll get some other of our people to sponsor some, some big things. Okay. So you have to pre-register for the show. So on our site, there is a little place where you can go on register you'd pay your money i think it's 35 dollars. that includes your entry into the show it includes a charm pack of joyful gatherings it includes a sticker or a patch from us that you will get for participating in that and who knows what else we'll do but we only can do 150 quilts and we want yours and there's two categories so it's like 30 and below or 30 and above and then we have some applique and pieced subcategories as well okay so get your entries in we want to see those quilts and then next up we have black star flower farm so we only have one version of it right now coming up uh we're still waiting for that website that's going to happen at the end of the month I know it is, and then we'll be able to do these monthly. But for those of you who have paid in full, you're going to get it first, okay? Uh, this will be a free pattern. So everybody, this will be on our blog as a PDF. This is Black Star Flower Farm, and it comes two ways. It comes wool applique kitted, or it comes with cotton. So this one is needle turn applique. So can you get a really close-up of this one, dear? Mm -hmm. There. So you can see the texture in the, it shows up, you know, when I see it on the thing, it's a little washed out. It's a little bit more vibrant in person, but this is needle turn. So I know I get requests for, hey, will you do a block of the month that isn't wool? Here we are. Okay, so these will be free patterns once we get our site up and running for those of you who need to do it monthly. And we will have monthly kits as well. Okay. And if you have any more uh, questions about that, let me see what else I have for it. Um, yeah, pattern will be out blank <laughs> when, we, when, when we can. All right. So just know that if you did order the full kit, yours are going. Did they go out yet? Or are they out soon? They were supposed to start today. Shipping. Yes. So shipping today, if you paid in full. And you get the first jump on it because you paid in full for the whole thing. Isn't that fun? Can you explain what they, even, they, even though they paid in full, they don't get it all in full. Right. Yeah. So if you're paying in full, you're getting the back background fabric. All right. And you're paying in full for the background fabric and for all the monthly blocks. Okay. And then there will be a small finishing kit. I don't know if we put the finishing kit in, Jess, or not. Not yet. Okay. They, they still ship monthly. Yeah. So your 
your monthly kits that when we release the pattern will ship monthly. If you paid in full, you're going to get the whole background and all of the um, fabrics. If you did the fabric version, if you did the wool version, you're only going to get the um, wool block one. You'll get those blocks monthly if you paid in full. The cotton people will get all the cotton fabrics as once, and you will just get the free download on the website for that. Okay? All right. Wow. Lots of stuff here today. Okay. This is very cool. So I know there's a lot of people asking for these. I'm going to show them to you now. There are so many of our projects that I'm doing right now that have stitch and flip corners. All right. So if you do not know what these are, every time a pattern tells you to draw a line on a square, I don't do that anymore, all right? What I do is I put this on my machine. You can see the picture there that Kaylee has up. Now that, that piece has been on my machine for probably nine months. I did add a little bit length to it because in one of my um, projects, it had big bigger stitch and flip corners. So I needed to add a little bit length to it. So that's why we made these bigger than what I originally planned. And that's why sometimes I don't put so something out right away is because I want to work with it for a while. So you can cut this to any size you need, or you can put the whole thing on your machine if you're using some big ones. Now, what you would do instead of running or putting a line on, you know, 365 squares because you're making a bunch of stitch and flips, what you would do is you would put your fabric on and you would just run the corner of your square along this line as it's going through your machine. And it's right dead on the center of your quilt square. So you're running right on that diagonal that you're sewing on and there's no more marking. And what I really love about this is it doesn't peel up it, it sticks down super nice and it comes with all of these in it. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. So if you only have one machine, seven, seven. it's probably a I year probably supply. Did. If you, you know, it's probably like a seven year supply if you uh, have one machine, but you know, you might be like me and have seven machines. <laughs> That's probably no lie. I'm not exaggerating. So those are up on our website. And I know like some of the girls, when they come for like, uh, the winter one I gave everybody then I've been giving them to people who stay with me and they've been trying and they're like, when are you going to put those out? I need more. How do you make sure that's straight on your machine? How do you make sure? Oh, I use a ruler. All right. So you put a ruler on your machine. And so you put your needle down and then you put your ruler on and then you will just lay this on your machine. You know what I mean? And you just make sure that you line that up with your needle but I use a ruler as well to put mine on, okay? And we did add an extra couple lines in here for, some of you are really gonna know why there's more than one line on it. So this is your center line if you're just doing one stitch and flip, right? But what happens if you have a big one and you wanna sew that other one again right away? So you can use it as a half square triangle instead of two triangles later on that you gotta pair together. So what I do is I run the one through and I pull it back out and then I just run it through again using this line with the point of the square. And we'll do a we'll do a tutorial on this, okay? So don't freak out if you don't quite understand what I'm talking about. We will do a tutorial about how those work, but they are big time savers. So you're not marking on your quilt squares, quilt blocks, quilt fabrics. Cuz that's how I get a lot of this stuff done. Is I'm not doing not doing always what the directions say because that takes time. Okay. How much are they? How much are they? Okay. How much are they? Let me see. $5. Okay. $5. Deal of the day. Worth, you know, no more marking pens, no more friction pens that you buy a whole bunch of them and then they don't work. Does anybody else have that problem? Every time I buy a friction pen and I keep it around and I won't need to use that green one, the green one don't work. Mark them all and then they fade. <laughs> they mark them all and they fade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So those are really fun. And we call them stitch and flip sewing machine. What did we call them? 
Stitch and flip machine strips. <laughs> That's the hardest part is Stay naming all this stuff. <laughs> naming all this stuff. All right. Let's talk about Sunnyside. So we got some new stuff in the shop that Jessica absolutely just loves this stuff. So here, I'm going to show you Camille's new line called Sunnyside because it's all about scrappy, right? So we have all of the pieces and parts here. Here is the tower. Look at all those colors. So Sunnyside Fat Quarter Bundle is 160. Fat Eighth Bundle, only two of them are left. Those are 88 Fat Ace. That's this size. Jelly Roll, $48. Layer cake, 48. Look at how cute she is. And then, of course, five inch and two and a half, $12 and $5. All those are on our site for you to order if you absolutely love Camille's. And then we are going to kit this quilt called Rosemary. So that will be coming soon. And then there's another pattern called Threadbare. That looks like spools and she ran out of thread. <laughs> Cute name. So these are the patterns that we have all ready for you. And this one, Threadbare, is two charm packs. And Rosemary is two layer cakes with some yardage. If you want to buy pre-cuts as well, as long as those are there. You do have kits available online to purchase. All available online under new? Yeah. Okay. Or live with Lisa. Or live with Lisa. So anything that we talk about is on the live with Lisa button, and it's under the new button too, because eventually it goes away, and then you can know where to find it. So the kit and pattern for rosemary is 139 and pattern only is 10 kit only like maybe you already have the pattern is 129 threadbare that's the spool one ten dollar pattern kit and pattern 130 kit only 120 and then backings for each one are also there as well and those are already listed at 20 percent off and they are 46 dollars and 49 dollars Jessica has all of that stuff ready for you. Isn't that nice and convenient? Okay, a couple other things that I am working on. All right, let's take a break. Give me some comments, please. You girls are all so quiet. Do you have any questions? It's the weather. Are you amazed at how we just wing it? Yes. <laughs> You're doing a great job. So I was like eating my chicken strip right before they come up. It was like 10 to, they're all like coming up. I'm like, we're not ready yet. We usually don't sit down like that, like a minute before. How's the website coming? Jess, why don't you want to answer that one? It's coming, slowly but surely. It's coming. So the girls are putting on all the images and she's like, she's like, I think I'm on the G's. So I'm like, is that good or bad? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, end of the month. Bro, end of the month, okay? We're gonna hold them to it. We're gonna we're gonna chain them up. Okay. Along with the new website, is gonna be our membership. Yes. Well, let's not overwhelm them too much right now. <laughs> let's say, just hope for a website that can hold a subscription monthly. So then we, <laughs> you know, that's all I'm praying for. So many new ideas. If we only didn't need to sleep, I know we really need to sleep, don't we? <laughs> oh yeah, they're loving it all. Okay, and remember. Heights. Did we do any? Did we do any prizes? I got them ready to go. I mean, okay, we, we got yes. prizes. I forgot to mention, but you know we always do prizes. Yeah, we figured what some of the patterns they showed or whatever. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pick up. You got three winners to pick up. All right. You can't hear her, but she's like, "Yeah, we got prizes." Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we got prizes. Ten four. All right. I'm gonna show you this. <laughs> my coat. Terry's coat. It's really my coat. About my little sleeves here. So I bought an old antique quilt that was very much didn't have any binding left on it. 
It was super ragged. It's got some loss, like fabric loss in it. So I thought, yep, that'll be a nice colorful one to cut up to make my jacket. So this is a jacket pattern that we have in the store called Tamarack Jacket. I, I lengthened it. I know I'm going to turn around. <laughs> Super cute. Yeah. I lengthened it. I put a pocket for my cell phone on the inside. I don't want pockets on the outside. And then I just got to figure out my closure here. Like, you know, I'm like maybe a toggle or a, or a button or whatever. I got to figure that out yet. But I just love my coat and so does Terry. I do. She wants it, but still want a next fishing lure. And it's super easy, like totally just surged. Like this is just your you don't have to line it like the pattern says. So we're gonna do a class on this coming up this summer. When Gloria gets back, we'll get it we'll get it in the um on the calendar, the ever-changing calendar. So even my sleeves, look, see. I laid out all my pattern pieces strategically on the pattern of the quilt. That's why I wanted one that was so graphic. So if you can find one that's kind of graphic like that, it really you can really work with, with the pattern like that. But isn't it cool? I just love it. It's very super warm for fall. But look for that this summer. We will have those those a class for that and how we how we did all that. And all you really did was most of the day I made it in one day was just, you know, hand sewing the binding, which some of you probably will do that by machine. I will not do that by machine, but it was pretty fun. All right. What else is Lisa working on? All right. Here's a sneak peek. I'm not telling you what this is for, but it, some of you will see this. This is one thing I'm working on. And I'm mixing. So this is homespun and this is flannel. And they're going to go right together in the same quilt because they can. <laughs> no rules. I've never done it before, but I'm going to do it now. So that I'm working like I work on these like uh, like maybe I don't really want like I'm done stitching something and I don't want to start another. I'll just stitch a couple of those in between. And I always have them with me for like when I'm at the gathering and maybe I'm done hand or maybe I'm done machine stitching something and I'll just sit with the ladies in the cool chairs over there and, and hand stitch a few of them. All right. Now I think I don't have anything else to talk about except for this last thing, but let me make sure. Somerset, Simply Swoons, Friends, Gather Here Pillow, Stitch and Flip, Sunnyside, Home for the Holidays, Wisconsin Shop Pop. Yep, yep, yep. All right. What? Yes, oh, t-shirts. Okay, yeah, those are on here. Red and white, minute. huh? That was all last minute. Yeah, last minute, Jess said. Okay, Black Star, Joyful. This is what I'm talking about next. And the pillow panel, or the Christmas panel we did. Okay, yep. All right, so let's do this first before I talk about the last thing I want to talk about. So we have these. Jess is going to place one more order for Mother's Day that will be here before Mother's Day. And this is a pretty color. I like this color. Make make sure medium in this for me. <laughs> Add that to the list. Okay. So in Mimi and we have Mama. And any color. You can you can get Mimi, Mama, Gigi, Grandma, and any color, right? Yeah. Right? And this is a pretty color too. I like this color too. Nana. Okay. So get those shorts ordered, last call before Mother's Day. Okay. So one of the things, you might have heard me talk about this a little bit, but I'm taking a class right now. So I am going to school every morning and learning this. Okay. It is uh, Adobe Illustrator, AI, Adobe Illustrator. It's like learning a second language. And I'm going to graduate this year. I flunked out last year. Okay. Yay! I have got it this year. And look, I even made myself flashcards. So I know what all the little tools are. Like H, that's the hand tool. And C, let's see cut scissors. Yep. Yeah. So I know them all. 
I'm going to pass, but I want to show you like all the things I had to do to learn all those little. So these are for the shortcuts. So like instead of going up and picking the tool out of the toolbar, like I can just press, you know, shift B. And I know that's the blog blob, B-L-O-B brush. And it pops up instead of me going up and finding it. I just could, can do shift B and I can get my brush that I need to draw some of my shapes. So I'll show you some of my uh, drawings one of these days, but uh, I just wanted to show you my workbook and how thick it was. And it's only an eight week course. But what I didn't realize last year, and maybe if I would have realized this, maybe um, I would have not flunked out last year, <laughs> but most of the work is in two modules. So the first two modules is learning illustrator and then advanced illustrator. So module one is learning like all the little tools, but if you don't do it every day, you, you can't remember it. So I would like start on Monday and then I, okay, be like, okay, I can't work until Wednesday or Thursday. By the time I get to Thursday, I'd have to go back to what I learned on Monday because I forgot it all. So this year I said, no, every morning. And what I didn't realize is all the work is in the first two weeks. The stuff I'm learning right now, I already know how to do. I already know how to design a fabric line. I already know how to, you know, like what prints need to go into my um, uh, fabrics to make them well-rounded, you know, stripes, hero prints, big prints, little, you know, little ditsies, all that. So if I would have known that most of the work was in those two weeks, I probably wouldn't have flunked out. But I was kind of, you know, hanging out here last year, getting this place running. So I thought once it was built, I'd be able to do it. But but I'm not funking out this year. So, all right. So I shared all those other things. Oh yes. So I did, and one other thing I did this week. So I did, um, I, I'm just gonna throw this out there just because some people might not know this, but um, I, you all know I have a motorcycle, right? And I ride a motorcycle. So I had put on all my motorcycle gear and I had to go, I it's just too big, right? So I had to go and buy all new leathers, I thought, until I get there. And um, I'm putting on my leathers and I'm complaining. I'm like, you know, my, my chaps are just broken in really nice. And I really like my chaps. She goes, well, why don't you bring them in and we'll just take them in. So all my belts, my vest, and my chaps, everything I picked up yesterday. And it's, I can't even tell. It's like amazing what they did to take in all of my leathers. The only thing I didn't take in is my jacket because I don't think they can take a jacket in, but, but maybe, but oh my God. Yes. So I got my nice broke in leather. So if you ride on a motorcycle and have all that stuff and, you know, maybe you fluctuate sometimes know that you don't have to go buy new ones, that they can adjust those. I don't know if they can, maybe, yep, they probably could make them bigger. If they can make them smaller, they can make them bigger, right? But hopefully that's not the case because we want to do all that dreadful weight loss stuff, right? Okay, so last but not least is I saved this for last because we're really going to do, we're going to go through this next week really in depth, okay? So Tuesday, we're going to go through this. Now this is Twilight stars. So show them the icon. You got the icon? I do, but I named it something different. Oh, so just put it I up there. Old name put it site. up there. Okay. So these are the blocks. So this is called Rustic Gatherings is the fabric line and Spellbound, but it's called Twilight Stars. Okay. And you'll see the little icon we have for it. But this is going to be so much fun. All right. So I've combined Jackie from Mo, from um, Sweet Fire Road, her fabric line and my fabric line together. So this is Jackie's fabric. All right, close up, close up time. And you will see that her fabrics and my fabrics go together really well. So this is her black and this is my black. Look at that. So those are the blacks. This is her orange. And this is one of my oranges. Okay. Look at how good they go together. So when I saw her fabric line, I'm like, hey, here's the brighter oranges. We can mix these together. Those are my grays. She doesn't have gray in hers. 
Those are my grays. Here's some more of her fabrics. Okay, so when I came to work today, all right, I came in early. So I was over at the retreat house. So here's my papers. These are all, all these are sewn with these triangle papers. I know you're not afraid of these, are you? No. no. Not at all. So these are one inch. So I stitched these this morning while I was just sitting there hanging out with the girls. Okay. Not all of them, but a lot of them. But, okay, so then I put this all in my car, and I'm driving over here, and I open up my car, all right, and this was all organized, like, you know, all the oranges were together, all the grays, all the blacks, and then they had all their squares and all their flying geese parts, right, all within each block. I opened up the car, and it went, <laughs> all over the all over the parking lot i'm like chasing my blocks all over the parking lot so we only had a few this many right here <laughs> that i might have to either recut or wash them they got a little bit of uh driveway dust on them so but anyway let's finish talking about this so here is what it's going to look like I have made out these charts. Really, Terry's made these charts. I just, she made them look pretty. So you see the chart here? All right, let's go up close. Let's go up close to the four-inch one. All right. Okay. So you're, first of all, when you do this quilt along here, go down here. Do Show the whole paper. All right. When you do this quilt along, you're going to decide. And I'm going to do four-inch blocks, eight-inch blocks. These are eight. Four inch blocks use um, three quarter inch triangle paper. And then there's 12 inch blocks. So there's three different sizes. Now, I don't know if I'm making this difficult or harder, but I thought some of you have certain places or certain sizes that you want these to go on or to fit, or you want it for a couch, you want it for a bed, you want it for my wall that's only 60 by 60. Well, you can decide, okay, come up really close again. You can decide how big you want your quilt here, right? So it tells you all the different sizes you can make this quilt. And then it tells you like the layout, three by three. So three by three. So that small one of 25 blocks is the layout of three by three, even though it's not three by three, but three across and three down. That's how I do that. All right. So let's say you want to make this, the biggest you can make this four, well, you can make it bigger if you double blocks, but 51 by 51, and you're going to be making 113 blocks. I don't even have 113 half square triangle blocks, so you're going to be making some double. But just to give you an idea of the how much dark fabric you need for each block, so you need a 5 by 11 piece of fabric, so you can get two out of a fat eighth, or... You could do fat quarters on some of these other ones too and just make more blocks the same. So I have given you layout, number of blocks to make, dark fabric cutting, approximate size, and then how much background you need. Now, the background yardage includes the setting and the borders. So I put that in there even though I didn't give you any information about your setting triangles, your corner triangles, or your border because you don't need that yet. That's that's a year away, okay? So, but you will, it's included in your yardage. And I've padded this, you know, by a half yard or so. So you will have enough if you don't make too many mistakes. And hopefully it it won't be going sailing, sailing down the driveway on you and you only have to cut a few of them. But you, I hope you kind of get the idea. So the 12 inch one, look at the 12 inch one. You only can make 32 blocks because it will be 84 by 104 if it, with 12 inch blocks. Remember, they're on the diagonal, so they measure larger. So maybe you're a beginner and you're afraid of triangles. This is the one for you, okay, the 12 inch blocks. And maybe you're a daredevil, that's the four inch blocks. Or maybe you just like making little blocks. Or if you're uh, just borderline here, the eight inch block, you can make 61 by 61 or 95 by 116, depending on how many you wanna make. So hopefully, I got this nailed down perfect for you and it won't be 
confusing because look at all my cr chicken scratches there and figuring all this out because I wanted I made a formula for you on the bottom here. So because uh, so you can mass cut the light because you just don't want to cut those square by square. If it's your if you're using all the same light fabric that I am, it's going to give you, OK, how many blocks are you going to make? Well, you're going to decide up here by how what size you want. That's going to tell you how many blocks you want. And you're going to say, OK, if I'm making uh, 72 blocks, then I need 72 three and a quarters. And then I need 144 or five inches. And then I need 288. So I've done all the little formulas there so you can figure out how many you are making and cutting if you're doing mass cutting. So I'm trying to really think that out for you and make it very user friendly as to do a whole bunch of sizes. Okay, but we will go more in depth with that on Tuesday and just quickly. Um, so like I said, fat ace or fat quarters of spellbound and rustic gatherings. I think we only have fat ace of spellbound, all right? And if you want the background that I used, we did order very heavily on it. But if a whole bunch of people do this, you know, we have uh, a lot of it on order. But if you really, really want the same background that I am using, if you're doing the same colors I am doing, you're going to want to order that now. Okay. I'm giving you a heads up because when you look at these charts, when you get this chart, when I give it to you, um, like literally because they're so tiny and so uh like um the eight inch block if you're making that king size quilt 95 by 116 it's 11 yards of background all right and that is not a lot of fudge in there just a little bit so we're gonna be using this here this is triangle gatherings. This is where you're going to get all of your configurations for your triangles. And then you're going to stitch two blocks a week for a year with us or how many you're going to make. All right. So that's what we're going to do with this one. You're going to be able to purchase charm. We're going to give you a deal on the book when we're ready. All right. So we're going to give you, we're going to put this on sale for you probably for $20. Some of you might already have this because we did this about six years ago, but it's such a cool thing that we're bringing it back with the stars around each thing. And I will give you all the information on how many charm packs you need for each size and all that stuff on Tuesday. Okay. I don't want to keep you too much longer here today. Do we have any other stuff going on. And I know you're all were screenshotting those. I know. I know all your little tricks. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Uh, Kaylee will pop up some comments for me quickly there. Yes. Stay tuned. We are going to sell some scrappy things quickly right after. And I want you to know that um, we are comments sold, like, even though we're selling some stuff now, it still stays in the store there under comments sold up to 30 days. Once it's 30 days, we will remove anything. And if we haven't sold it all or all in 30 days, then we're going to put it someplace else, or we're going to give you a last chance. Like maybe we only have a couple things left instead of taking off. We're going to give you a last chance on some of those good items. What else do you want me to tell them about comment sold? If you're new here and don't know what comment sold is, Kaylee has put up right there the website where you can go to register or you can register during the live, which is hosted in Facebook for now on Stitch with Lisa or our Primitive Gatherings Facebook group. Those are the two places that you can jump on and find out how to buy on comment sold. Now on comment sold, some of the things are on sale, very deep discounted, and some of the things are not. So it's a variety of things. Some of them might be one or two things that we just want to move out the door. And some of them maybe we overbought and we have a ton of, and we're going to give it to you at 35% off or something like that. Okay. All right. 
You're going to get mystery winners. You know, Heidi always picks out good prizes. So she'll pick out some patterns or something from today that she can give you. But the winners are Marianne Lucas. You have won. Helen Petticord and Judith Stout. You are today's winners. Please contact Heidi at the email shown on the screen and she will hook you up with some caramels and some other goodies. <laughs> All right. All for now. See you, my friends, next week. And jump on the comments sold if you want to buy some fun stuff. See you later.